Um, it's difficult. Do you mean in like reference to team comps or just in general? Because I see Moira as a... Her entire kit is healing and damage. So she's very much about big heals and she should be about big damage. But she's not because they can't buff her damage. Otherwise, people play DPS Moira. So I, I, I think Moira's identity is all about the AoE healing. She is a AoE healing and survivability. That is basically her thing. Like when you've got team compositions that can group up with each other, then that's where Moira should shine. Unfortunately, Baptiste stole Baptiste. that identity Select your hero. and he's better at doing it than Moira is. Okay, the thing about disruption is that that is an evolution. Like, the good Moira players, we've been forced to do that because our main identity doesn't exist anymore. Science like, a lot of the stuff the that I do in the game, like, when my tank's over here and I'm standing out over here in the open, ready to then fade back and get the position here, I'm doing it for two reasons. One, I'm doing it because I want to charge up, like, my juice or whatever. Two, because I'm trying to get some extra value. I'm trying to do something that maybe a Baptiste can't do. I'm, th I'm trying to make people shoot abilities at me. Basically, I'm indirectly tanking. If Moira was in a good place, I would never need to do that. Because Moira would be strong enough and the risk would be too high to go for those kind of plays. But because she's not that strong and, like, we have to make those kind of plays at the advanced levels. Like, I don't think in low ranks it's something which you need to be doing. Although in low ranks it's easier to do. Okay, our team, they've wasted, like, an eighth of our time still standing outside. That's 30 seconds of our four minutes are gone. And our Doomfist is only just stopped typing. They have a Widow. Turret's on the box at top right. Someone needs to shoot it from range. We've got no healing left. I'm trying to do a bit of Sun Tzu's Art of War here. I'm trying to look strong when we are weak. Okay, I did not want the Hog and people to push into that room. Our Sigma and everyone is backing off. So I want to just stand there for a second. I didn't want to actually get killed, by the way. Like, that that was an unfortunate side effect with a rock. Um, but I was trying to basically say, hey, look, we're still strong. I can stand in front of you. And I'm hoping they back off a bit so that we can retain that room. We've got no orb to go through here. Our hogs, our bulls already in. That turret's still alive. We've got nothing that can kill it. That turret is going to win the game. Sigma's trying, thank god. He recognises the importance of killing that. Okay, we've got a Widow, so we want to try and... Uh, hog hooks down, rocks down. There's nothing that can block our Coalescence here. Fade jump tutorial. We went up there to try and uh, contest if we needed to. That's fine. The hog took the scenic route. We nearly got two. Right. Fading through. We heard the widow grapple. Okay, she's on the floor because we saw her tracer from her shot come through. Hog no hook. There's a lot of supports lined up there. Perfect for a damage orb. Gotta 
get out. Back to our team. We've got Transcendence there. Anti's coming on our Sigma. Can we pressure the Zarya before she does anything here? Yes, we can. Time on the capture point. Watch the Hog Hook. Doing work with these damage orbs. Fade the Hog Hook. We knew what he was doing. He was looking at us for at least the last two minutes. Other side. Nope. We're going that way. Nice block. Block the res. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Score. Two, zero. Yeah, the, the Sigma is pretty much the only thing that we can, like, hard pocket. These, whenever they're nearby and we can give them a heal, we're going to do so, right? The ball, we can't really pocket. The ball does their thing. There's a lot of health packs they can use. Sigma, Zen. But Zen wants to play at different ranges to us. Like, we want to play next to this Sigma. This Zen wants to play as far away where he can still do his job. Science will reveal the truth. So we've got a really awkward team composition, but the key to how this team comp is winning is Doomfist and Ball. When they're going in and distracting players... Oh, missed the jump. It is shit, right? But you you will get shit team comps. Now, you can tilt and go, oh, like, we can't do anything with this, right? Or you can think, okay, how can we win with this team composition? And it's like, okay, well, what we could do is we could... We've got a ball and a Doomfist who are going to make a distraction. And then we've got a Widow... Who's going to be pot shotting at people from that distraction? Ignore this jump for the education series, by the way. There's no point in being up here. Or up here. So we're just going to go to our normal spot, which is here. So Ball and Doomfist are going to be disruptive, and we need to be taking advantage of that disruption. While also trying to, like, pocket our main front line. Look, look, there's a disruption. So has anyone pushed through? That mercy was in no man's land. Right, we're gonna fade jump up there. Because we can support our... Oh, we can kill off the Farah. We will have obviously taken the Mega. So yeah, like, work out with your team comps. How, how can we best play this comp? I don't care if the team comp's bad or not, right? I just need to know what I'm going to be doing. I don't think we're saving that Widow here. Yeah, but think about what the players are going to be doing, right? No so... One can have Ball, Widow, Doomfist. Okay, so we've got two people going in there, scattering the enemy team. And then we've got Widowmaker cleaning them up. So from our point of view, what can we do? Well, we need to be... You know, when all this chaos starts coming into play, our Sigma is going to be moving forward, right? And we want to be joining that. We'll fade this. And we're just going to call, because I don't like the amount of pressure that they were putting on a number of our players. Can we pop our mech? That would be big. Okay, that's good for us. Very good for us. There's a lot of pressure from the Pharah, so we're just going to recoup. We're not going to go take that mega because we want to actually build some ult charge, and we can do that with self-healing. Every time you take a health pack, it's negative value because the enemy team has built ult charge off of you through damage. <laughs> The enemy team's built ult charge off of you through damage, and you're not building any ult charge through healing. Because the health pack gets the ult charge, right? 
We're okay here. I mean, they've got a beat on, right? And there's still a Fire and Mercy around the point. But our timings are going to work out quite nicely. Mercy solo. Just got to get out of the pressure of the Farah. Calm, stay calm. Just got to stay calm here. Like, we know there's going to be a chaotic fight. Yeah, it is. But that, that's the point. In other words, that's why the health pack needs to be the last resort. It's like, yeah, the point wasn't to, like, not take health packs. It was bearing in mind that you are making a trade for taking that health pack. Right, we lost the player, they lost the player, they're rezzing. We tried to like, bait out a hog hook. Right, our resources are a problem here. That McCree did not die there. We could have maybe just gone around the, uh... Oh. Follow the heal orb. See if we can get this Mercy down. That's good. See if we can get this Anna down. That's good. Now we'll start healing again. Now they have no healers. It just makes sense. We kind of want to stagger that. Yeah, as soon as we eliminated their healers, now we can just switch to basically full heals. Because uh, as long as we've got some targets alive, we know that we've got healing, we can just out-sustain them. They've got sick now. Okay. They're gonna be right. Oh, I was gonna say we're two down, but we're not. We're okay. At least for now. We're gonna be under a lot of pressure though. Let's see if we can assist with some damage. We're out of resources, I want to get some back. So I'm I'm willing to die here if I need to, because I get resources either through dying or through uh yeah, damaging enemies. And I want to have some for the next fight. We kind of don't need to throw a damage orb here. It's good if there's an isolated target over there. But we've already got our ult charge, so we'd just be feeding them charge. The reason for throwing a damage orb there is because we do have a player out there still. Our tracer. Let's compliment it. Right, their only win condition is somebody touching the point. So, if somebody comes through there quickly, I want to see if I can fade through and body block. But that, to me, is like the cycle of Moira. And I think that it's... It's really important to be able to manage that. You've got your fade ability, right? So, Moira, in my opinion, works in these, like, cycles. So I'll be sitting there like this. And so I heal, 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 heal. And let's say I throw my healing orb, right? My resources are low. What am I waiting for here? As of right now, I'm waiting for my orb cooldown. Okay, I've got that. Here's the cycle, right? That was step one. Heal, run out of resources. Step two, advance forward. 
damage, get your resources back up. On the first sign of danger, you fade back. Then this part's key. Heal orb forward, walk forward. Right? That's the cycle of Moira. So you're just doing this over and over again. You're keeping people alive. Obviously, if there's any opportunities to, like, squeeze in so you don't do it right. But you're going to be using more healing than anything else. So... La, 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 la. There's my orb. I want my orb on about two seconds left on cooldown before I start venturing out. So I can go, okay, get some re resources and now back to heal the team. And you're just doing that cycle like over and over again. Push forward, get some resources, first sign of danger, fade back, heal all forward, back to heal. Burn out some of your healing, right? Push forward, right click, first sign of danger, back off, heal up forward. And you're pretty much doing that the entire game. Any damage that you take when you push out like here, your heal orb now self heals you. So obviously I haven't taken any damage, right? So let's say I need to take a bit more. Let's say I'm right clicking now, the enemies, right? And I go, okay, I fade back to my team. I get my heal now. And I'm back at full health, full resources, ready to start healing again. So we're back in fight, we're healing players, we're taking damage. Ignore the fact that I've got my back to the enemy, it's just so that I can take some damage from the bot. It's like, okay, get your resources back, get your resources, danger. Oh, I was full again, somehow. But we, that is pretty much the cycle. Now, if you have a look in this game that I'm playing now, look for that cycle. And like, yeah, just have a look at how much we're doing that. And I'm not going to suddenly try and do that more, right, for this game. I'm just going to play the same way that I always play. And that's also one of the good things about stepping out into the open Having people shoot at you, but you need to be able... It's so important to recognize the threats that can Science eliminate you and how the fast team. they can kill you. If the threats... Like, if there's a Widowmaker... If you hear her shoot once... Make the assumption she's going to headshot you on the next shot. You can't be there anymore. You hear an Ash... If you take any damage... Like, from a McCree shot or something like that, and you've heard an ash, you get out of there. There are other signs which make you say, oh, I can stay here longer. If I hear the Roadhog use his hook on somebody else, I can stay a bit longer. That's one of the threats that can instantly kill me. Gone. I'm gonna go out here and we're gonna throw an aggressive damage orb because people love stepping out here. You see that damage? Gotta watch the dynamite. Heal orb. We do. We had to start that cycle early, right? So we're in our heal zone. This is different because the mercy was so low health. Okay, well that's quite well controlled. So yeah, with, with a uh, boosted Ash, obviously we can't take very many shots. Like, a D.Va long range hits us a little bit. Mm. I don't like... Like, I need to be on cart here. We would fade back, and then we heal all forward, right? Got no resources. So let's go get some. And we're just going to go back. Look how much resources we got just from that play. We're still pushing the objective though. But those resources just from moving up there allow us to heal this pool here. I want to see if I can heal the Bob. I need to avoid their Bob though. Oh, thanks. 
We're right cla uh, click tapping that bob to gain resources quicker. Can't do anything about that, I don't think. We're still pushing the objective though. Doomfist might ult on us, but it's fine because we've got a... Uh... Okay, this game does not look very difficult. Got a fool behind us somewhere. We're not in a position where we can really be booted. Okay, we seem to have a better team than them. You see those other games where we lost, right? And it's like, oh, okay. We lost those games. You know, you can tilt yourself, but look, it just looks like we've got a much better team. Balance is out. We'll win games like this. So Mercy should be going forward because she can get more value off the payload than I can. And I'll get very slightly more value than she does on the payload. I'm going to bounce it lower because I think the ball's going to jump down. Fade back because we're going to call to try and clear some mines. Looks like they did the same thing with the bob. We'll see if we can line up heals on the bob. I, I hit fade. I hit fade. I knew the McCree was charging on me. The second the Doom died, I hit fade. Long range bounce. Uh, maybe not. Just throw it in there. I would throw it here so it bounces flat off the wall and gets more healing. But all of our team are on the right side. And it's still bounced around for a bit, right? Bounce there because it's flat walls everywhere. So it's probably going to bounce and hit someone about now. There you go. Heal orb, but we're going to do the same bounce, but our team's advancing. So we want to bounce that, and we notice how we're tracking it, because we want it to heal us if we take any damage. Oh, there's a Reaper there. Reaper's flanking behind. Reaper behind. got to go damage here. We've got to just try and kill the Reaper. Yes, too much sustain. Okay, team just needs a regroup. We might as well throw some damage orbs. Most of their damage sources are big, like, almost one hit. So... Our healings kind of nullified a lot. In this case, they will throw one. Another bob into a minefield. Just damage. No point in trying to heal. The Reaper will kill all of us. So we tried to just body block and maybe we'll take a couple of the Roadhog pellets. Oh, he was so low, but... We'll fade that boop up. We got coal. That's a good chance. Okay, that's fine. They nullified us. Was he just crouched in the corner? Yeah, nice. Had absolutely no idea he was there. Die, die. Beginning. Wrong door. Let's support this Bob. Get ready to fade if the hog hooks. Just straight up DPS here. Reaper's top right in the balcony. Sweet coat. Gotta block that mercy res on the Reaper. 
not the best grab. Damage because he can't self-heal. It's tempting to try and heal people against those big ults, but I maintain that damage is often the best one. Not always, but quite often. We're getting close to our coal. Nice, we zoned off the Reaper. Okay, well the last point was a lot harder. Science will reveal the truth. Despite our differences, I do respect your work, Dr. Ziegler. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. <laughs> they, they know it's me. Are you going to say hi? Chat says hi. Five, four, three, they can tell from the play style it's me. So we're sort of off angling, but we do need to be aware of the damage. We're going to damage orb in there because there's a good chance it gets max value. It actually basically didn't hit anyone, but it's still going. I've got to fade that because I don't want to take that damage. He's anti. That orb bounce is not going to come back. Good call. Got to watch out for the uh, port. He's got his hook back. Okay, I'm supporting the Bob like crazy. I'll see if I can get someone to wake him up. Okay. So by crouching around the Bob, if, if anyone shoots at me instinctively, they'll wake the Bob up. Which is why I like playing there. There was a flaw in my approach. Allow me to repair the damage. It is risky, but again, so many damage sources. I mean, this ball's like not on good health. Ah, oh, no. This will heal you. I wanted to body block afterwards and I could bounce an orb around there and I could just tank. It gives him a lot of ult charge. Dragon's coming for us up here, but he's missed it on us. That was actually hard to control the fade there. Oh. Damage. Hog behind. Mercy's not going to accomplish much here. Okay, we need to regroup, but I'm just seeing if I can extract any value. Reaper, I think, is on the little wooden platforms. Like, outside the door. I don't actually mind this. I don't mind them like chasing. 
Keep an eye on Kyle. Ripper is one of you. We've got to support our ball though. We've got an orb bouncing. When you spawn close to the objective, you can afford to be a bit more risky. Basically, if I get a kill on the enemy player, look how far away they are from the objective. If they get a kill on me, Reaper's on Mega. Right, we need some tank in here. We waited, and we be brave, and his blade is over. Oh, Genji's low, coming behind. Watch cart, watch cart. Ah. While the Genji was still nanoed, I didn't think it's worth um, healing the Kree. I'd rather stack our damage sources than do half damage, half healing. Let's go with this. Gotta watch the hook. Oh shit, I got bubbled. Look for anyone who's gonna get hit by the mines. Been isolated from the Zaya. Tanking a bit, trying to block the cart. Didn't really want to get hooked by that though. We had fade, we had a wall. We shouldn't have been hit by it. Jesus wasn't even looking like it's pointing at me. Okay, what started out as a game which looked like we had a massive team difference has turned into a game where we're actually losing. Let's hope they're as bad at defending the first point as they were the last time. Switching sides. Prepare to attack. Select your hero. It sort of is, yeah, but we're not... The results are not the focus. Like, I'm not trying to speed run it. So, we've been uploading the videos to YouTube doing this series. And for the first ones, when we were playing in, like, gold, we were just focused on the basics. So, this was very much, okay, stand behind, heal, get a bounce. Oh, look, this person's going to kill me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're trying to simulate sort of gold play. But we're in, like, diamond nearly masters, right? So, from this point onwards, like, people might not know the basics, but there's no point in me doing 20 hours of content showing people the basics. So I'm trying to focus more on my thought processes. Like, in how I normally play. We're not, like, full-on... I don't want to say we're not full on try hard. I mean, we're trying to win the games, right? But if we don't win them, I we're trying to get some like educational value out of them. So I'm going to bounce an orb off that corner. That was a deliberately aimed orb, so it bounces into that zone, even if it's high. Hit 
Okay, ball's weak. That's going to take up a lot of healing resources. Same, we're bouncing that same orb there, so it just takes in that zone. Look at all of that value that the damage orb gets. Gotta watch the hog hooks, going for the mercy, but we're going to fade back, actually, we don't want to take that anyway. That orb bounce is not that great. Um, time on point is key. We're actually going to damage orb because we want to punish that ball. I think we need to use the cold, annoyingly. Keep the players alive who are contesting the point. Sigma is no longer contesting, which means we need to find a touch. Right, we got time. Okay, we've got... Crucially, we've got time on the point. But it's now still two minutes they have to cap. And they need just over two ticks. It's going to be tough. Prepare your defenses. Select your hero. Science will reveal the truth. Well, it's time. So I do this or bounce at the start of this game because it bounces off the wall and it comes back up these stairs and it's like we've just heard a Genji and it's an awkward orb for him to deflect but if he dashes to these stairs it can also hit him there and then he's forced into that room and we'll have our next orb by then and we can really just like take him out of the fight. I don't know if he's actually going this way or not. But, okay, that orb's hit. He dashed. It can hit him on the way back. I don't think we got hit there. And we can throw another orb into that room. And if he opted to go for that mini, which it does, doesn't look like we softened him up enough. We're a bit worried about the ball. What the? My bad. Hogs on our mini, like, near spawn. <laughs> we need damage, like... Would be really nice to keep the hands alive here as well. Reaper's going towards spawn, careful. Nice, tracking diva. I'm not chasing that though. Which I was Tiggy's the only one that's on the right now. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's timing wise, I think we could we could afford to spend a bit of time trying to zone them out. But that Reaper's Let's keep an eye on behind you, Hanzo. Reaper's probably gonna go that way. Bounce it in that room. Gotta fade that, we haven't got an orb. Hog's gonna take that little room again, I think. Let's fade that, we're in a bit of danger. Just gonna heal all for ourselves. He's behind it. He is, he is, he is. Get ready with the fade button. Might be able to get the deflect out of him early. Okay, he deflected. We basically need to run from this if we can. Hmm. Yeah, it's not looking good. There's not really an orb bounce here that could be used. More low. Get an orb bounce is hopefully going to heal the rest of our team. Nah, 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 nah. There comes the ult. It's a shame we couldn't get the Reaper down. Good try. Man, we are getting crushed in the games, though. This is supposed to be educational. 
again, I'm not fussed about the results. Like, I'm trying to highlight the play styles and things more so than, uh, yeah, just winning games. Welcome to Malevento. If you improve how you play, the results will follow. Hope everyone's having a nice weekend as well, by the way. Touch from afar. Strength flows from you. This will restore you. Yeah. Like I've I've done one of those unranked GMs. It doesn't take very long. It just involved exploiting the fact that people can't aim as well as I can dodge. And if anybody wanted to learn from that unranked to GM series, then what I'm basically saying is if you want to be if you want to get your account to GM, don't ask me what that all was. If you want to get your account to GM, play like a GM player. And it's like no one actually benefits from that. I cast this forth. The orb bounce so close. Traveling to Hanamura. Prepare to attack. Select your hero. Hello. Science will reveal the truth. Attack commences in thirty seconds. Ready for combat operations. We should be looking at our team compositions. But what sounds can you hear? I'm hearing a lot of reaper noise. Okay, we are about as rushy as you can get. We are going to be doing a lot of mouse one. Apply some heal over times. Heal orbs when we can. the heal orb. We'll just fire that in the direction that we're moving. We're going with a reaper now but we're going to join up with our own. Damage orb in there because it can bounce around like mad. We're okay just kind of sitting here getting time on the point. That orb bounces back to point. So we'll just right click break the bubble. Pay the doom fist. He gets an instant spawn anyway, we should be moving. Okay, it looks like we're going main. Well, I'm bouncing orb off the back wall, and I'm not applying the heal over times, because I want the orb to go slow. And get in a position for Cole. Let's see if we can strip the uh, damage amping off of the Pharah for our team. Gotta fade this in a second. Oh, we maybe didn't have to. We're getting time on the point, um, and it's sort of forcing them to come down to us, right? 
EMP activated. So yeah, we're we're full on rush. Yeah, I mean that is this is the strategy. Question is, what happens here? Select your hero. Are our team a stack? Science will reveal the truth. Okay. Attackers incoming in thirty seconds. Be sure to stretch before engaging in the rigorous physical activity. Right, let's get our star orb on the go. We're a bit late, but I don't normally like fading around here because they can hear you from the spawn. They can hear the footsteps, but they might not know exactly who you're playing, especially if you're jumping because you don't actually make... You make noise, but it's hard to identify the noise. Right, so the position that we tried, we're we trying to live in here is this flat wall and this flat wall that's slightly angled, which makes it a bit annoying. They do have a diva, which is going to suck for our orbs. So we might have to bounce some off the back of this door. Peek out, get resources. Hanzo got a kill, but we don't need to back off yet. Okay, we'll swap position. Fade off of that wall. Genji's dead. Back to heals. Back to right clicks when we can, because we know we're going to be in danger soon. We're going to fade because we were taking damage. We need our orb to come back to us. There it is. So we're basically living in this position. Can we get any resources? Risky, but that's why we fade. We've got a baby amount of resources there. Need another orb. See how strong this position is? Resources, thank you Diva. We're gonna tap her. There's an anti on our Rhine, but uh, I'm going to line up the players in the back as well and go back. Right, that might buy enough time for our Rhine to get back. Oh, zen, 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 Zen. But let's not burn everything we've got. I've right, got a brief window where we need to survive. That's a push signal, but not too much. So if we die, we may not be back for the next fight. Ava, how's it going? Oh, flat bounce off that wall. We're going to take some of it on its way back. Right, this is burning so many of my resources. Any chance to get some back? We need to take it. They're anti, so our healing's limited. We're slightly out of position, but it's fine because we can fade into position. Fade that because I don't trust the Rhine, even though I could have in that situation. Got another grab that we're going to combo. Shooting, make, making sure we're always shooting player in the back. We should have probably healed that guy, but. Someone in the top window. Flat wall bounce there. Because of where our team's playing, it should bounce back. We might get another bounce off of it, but... It's not hugely our job to worry about people up in the windows and stuff. We're keeping our front line alive here. 
And we're also trying to fire these orbs between the matrixes. Don't care about that monkey, we're holding the choke. Oh look, the monkey came back. We care about her. Oh shit. Oh no, we missed the slap! Okay, there we go. We missed the fade to slap. So when a diva goes for a bomb, if you are right clicking her like nearly the whole time, and then you fade the bomb blast, you can melee the diva before she remex. It is super risky because if one like Anna heal comes in, the mech's gonna kill you. But then you've got to think of like risk reward because actually killing a you're killing an entire diva with one punch, right? That's what it ultimately comes down to. So you've got to decide. Hang on a minute, eliminating the diva, is it worth, say, a 40% chance that I could just get killed from it? In a lot of cases it is. Fade to slap. I'll show you a good example, one second. Because I have many, many clips of doing this, and I'm sure I've named something like. Now arriving at Ilius. Prepare for battle. We might not have time. Select your hero. Uh, Come on, where's all my fade to slap clips? This is all Greek to me. My god, I actually have a lot of clips. Thank you. Okay, never mind. We're we're not finding one. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, we haven't looked at the team comp. Luckily, we've got to run to spawn. Okay, Doom Ball. Aggressive play. We've got an AFK player. That's always a good sign in ranked play. That could mean a game's cancelled. They've got a Hog Soldier. Okay, our guy did finally pick a hero. Well, we're on the back foot. Hello. Yeah, I mean, we were a player missing at the start. I don't know what promise. I don't know if I made a promise. Give him a heal orb. It does put us in a position where now we have no orb. Their Ryan's playing very confidently. I want to scout that room with that damage orb. It hit some people at the back. Still got to watch his shadow here. They've got an orb coming forward. If I call here, he shatters me. He's looking for it. You see how he's lining up the angles? Okay, they got 62% though. That's not great for us. That orb hits the soldier quite a bit. Never mind. 
That was not a good Felix rocket. Okay, rallies in. We want as much of this rally to wear off before we pop coal. Because that arm is going to hurt. That'll do. Can we get anything down? Still got to watch out for that shatter, right? up there with you. Hog's ulting, he can't self-heal. We're sleeping, so we're probably okay, because we're good with the fades. But we need to bail here. Okay. A bit of a uh, crazy fading. But we're back in position with the team. As soon as we heard the Rhine charge, we knew he was coming in our direction. Oh. Oh, oh. Fade. Hog was obviously going for a hook. As they land. Or he didn't land, but had he have landed, that orb would have hit. Right, win conditions is someone touching the point here for them. So we want to look to maybe body block anything. Oh, never mind. Came in that way. Eliminate them as quick as possible because it forces the enemy team into making bad decisions to get onto the point as quick as they can. We've got a Lucio. See what I mean? They've... As long as we kill the ones on point, they've got to make bad decisions to get onto the point. We're very, like, Moira is very good at um like contesting the people as they go onto the point hey Elise how's it going the thing about fades is that they need to become an extension of your WASD like you should be as comfortable fading anywhere as you are walking there, like ooh, 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 ooh. Five, four, three, two, one. Two. Right, the widow maker check. The orb basically gets no value, but we just listen for one, and then we've got a good chance that they've got a widow because widows often go there. I might have missed that all bounce a bit. Right, question is who do I want to hang out with? Hog looks like he needs a friend. Nano boost is charging. Cylindrical objects. Ah. Team's going up there. I could go up. But like, part of me wants to stay here and just make sure they don't know that there's a clear route. Okay, we need to like, get out of here though. We need a mixture of damage. And healing on the Ana. If we just sit there and only heal, then the Tracer is free to just farm her. A couple of right clicks and um yeah it can change everything ah oh, didn't make it up sounded like someone was going this way cream might have it covered he does 
does have it covered. Any shatters? No. Any suicidal monkeys? Let's go for his escape route. Soldier right room. That's a lot of damage. But we can't commit in there because the uh, rig. Let's see if we can get the recall out of the tracer. Might have already used it. I got two. Nope. Drop down, Anna. Nice. Might as well contribute to hitting the bubble. Monkey goes for round two. Where's my Anna? Probably should have uh, paid attention to the Ryan that was coming towards me. Uh, really far away, we've been losing a lot of games. I think we've won one and lost like a bunch. Chase is probably going to go in that room. Let's just let her know that. We know she's there. This will restore you. Ball's in a bit early. We're not going to take much damage yet, so we could afford to throw a damage orb. Ryan looking for Shadow, maybe? Oh, he's not going to get one if he, if he was. Right, and that's the game one. Yeah, I mean, he, he went in because we were close by. But he didn't account for the fact that he didn't see that some of our players got pushed backwards. And so when he commit in, he's assuming that we were actually still in like the left room and we're making our way to the point. And it's very difficult to judge that when you're playing like ball without physically looking behind you. Uh, the key would have been game sound.